So I was visualizing um, a big gush in his head, uh, blood, and I needed to see for myself, um, you know, how bad it was. That, you know, at that time, I, I didn't know that he had drowned. It was terrible. It's like we just couldn't get really. We couldn't get to the beach. And I couldn't get to see my child. It was 10 o'clock on the Saturday morning. I think it was about 10 o'clock. Um, I was still in bed, having coffee. The phone rang and it was Nikita. And he ran and you can see when he dove, he tried to stop himself from not diving because I think he realized like I shouldn't. And he hit the water and I was like, okay, maybe swimming that under and he's gonna come up. And pulled him out and he was he was so he was uh, talking and he was like I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't move. And they said they called the, the there's a, just a random paramedics driving past. They were busy with him and I was squeezing his hand and I said to him, Can you feel me squeeze your hand? And he was like, Yes. And I was like, okay, can you squeeze my hand? And he says, I can't move. And then he just stopped speaking. Well, Community Mix is a volunteer organisation. We have volunteerism in our blood. The community medics are your neighbours, your friends, your family, uh, people, that, strangers in your community that you've never met. But in your hour of need, you will meet them. The difference that it makes is when a call for an emergency goes out, uh, those people are there within minutes of that emergency and they are there to then feed back to the R24 the correct information. So we deploy the correct resources uh, to ensure that the, the right qualifications, the right members of the team are on the scene uh, to render the right level of care to the patient and then expedite the transport hospital. It's really amazing how they take up like, their free time to help other people. So I'm like extremely grateful for them because if they weren't there, he wouldn't be here. Because I was, I was still in a coma for a week. And then when I woke up, I could move my head a little bit. But other than that, it was quite, quite scary. I couldn't, they told, they obviously said that I wouldn't be able to move or walk again or breathe on my own. If it wasn't for community medics, Liam would most likely not be alive today. Anyone in a medical profession wants to bring good into the world. And EMS is one of those professions which is not for everyone, but you see immediately the, the affection that you get from your patients. So this is just ordinary guys with ordinary lives, normal day jobs as volunteers, and that's what they're made of. Oh, he wouldn't have survived. I can tell you for a fact, he would, he would have died on that beach. Because he did. If they were there to resuscitate him, he would have died there.